Hi, it's Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about I'm a Roaming Stranger by Louisiana Red. And I really like him, and I got turned on to this record. I didn't realize how great it was, but I just love it. Um, the low-down front porch blues of Louisiana Red. Got turned on from it to it by uh, Little Victor, who's on uh, one of the guests on uh, the podcast, No Border Blues, that I do. And he produced Louisiana Red. A few records for him and toured with him and he got into guitar playing just because of that one record roulette records what I like about it there's nothing fancy with the right hand you can just use a pick and there's nothing fancy with the chords but the way it's all linked together it shows like a real flexible way of thinking and a mastery of all of it so we could so it flows out you know he's not just stuck here he goes here So the point, I think this is great for a beginner guitar player because he just linked all these positions together. I'm a Roman stranger And my home ain't no one man's town He's so believable. He's such a real blues man. Everything about it just screams blues man. I'm a Roman stranger. Plays it in an idiosyncratic way. He does this bend and he lets the notes really cry by creating an intentional um, dissonance. Is it wrong? Yes. But does it sound good? Yes. So. It's very light to Hopkins. So here's an A minor, right? It's out of your A minor. See how I have my second finger behind me when I do this bend? You don't have to, but it sounds better. And there goes. That's what he did. So this is playing what I call behind. Here's a long A, right? He does this gig a lot. This is all real Lightning Hawkins, and we could have done a Lightning Hawkins song, but I'm, I'm glad we picked this Louisiana Red song. So take your third finger, put it on the fifth fret of the B string. And then your first fingers on the G. Any idea what that is? It's a G seventh, right? I mean an A seventh. Here's an A, and then right behind it is your G. <laughs> That's not helping you very much, is it? Guess what? It's the same thing as in Sweet Home Chicago, right? Except it's in. E, right? So and then you got to like be evocative with this one. That's an E seventh, right? I just got my third finger out of the way here. I'm a Roman stranger. A seventh. I love that. So this is walking up to the F sharp on the low E string. You might hear that, or just... That's a D chord, right? This F sharp is the bottom. This is an inversion. It's a chord with a different note in the root. At my home, I know my man's town. A. Yeah, I'm a wrong stranger. I 
love the way the notes sit there. Oh, hold me in the one man's town. killing floor, right? You know, I think I would make everything alright. You could use a pick, it's cool, you know, because he's so sparse. If I can find my happiness. This is the D and the D seventh with the bass there. Ooh, I believe everything will be all right. And I won't be round from town to town. From town to town. Street to street every night. Play your guitar. I know how you feel. I like the way he encourages himself and then he does something really great. Something like that. This is so cool. So this is just, this is a great place to play lead. It's out of kind of a position where your root is on the 10th fret of the B string. Notice how it's just like this. Did you notice how those were the same notes? And two octaves up actually. And then he slid up to this one. Then he just moves his hand. I love the way it just kind of falls, you know. Then he... So, I think... I'm going to do that slow. Then he takes a different tack in every situation. That's what I like about it so much. You know, he has a f solution to every place. Does that make sense? You know, then he, so here's his D chord. Does that make sense? It's part of this D here. This is A, moved all the way up. Fifth fret, seventh fret. So you don't have to play that. You have to think it. You just have to play the top parts. It's something like that. He always is real heavy going to E. Yeah. So it should have that heaviness and that feeling to it, man. That and you can just use a pick, and you just have to. This would be great to loop. Just make sure you don't go too fast. This is a really slow and mournful song about, you know, a roaming stranger. So, you know, it's very. It's got the kind of wide open space. I believe everything's gonna be all right.
And if you listen to it slow, you notice it really swings. every night that's the only time he's fast in the whole thing and then this I would usually use these three fingers. All right, R.I.P. Louisiana Red. I wish I could have gotten to know Louisiana Red. And um, if you have some Louisiana Red stories, please do post them. Um, I'd love to read them. Some other uh, great Louisiana records, Louisiana Red records are. Uh, the one he did with Lefty Diz is really cool. The one he did on Earwig is really cool. The two that Little Victor produced are fabulous. There's a great 45 he did um, called Who Dat. So uh, lots of great Louisiana Red stuff. And I um, hope you enjoyed this lesson. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. Thanks a lot. And have a great one.